family, a basic social unit consisting of parents and their children, whether dwelling together or not. This is the definition of a traditional family, also applicable to a single parent family and to any group of persons closely related by blood, maybe as parents, children, uncles, aunts, and cousins. The definition of a family may evolve, but its importance remains. A family is essential to both the individual and the society because it fulfills one's many needs to be the best he or she could be. A family provides one's safety needs. They are the people that will stand by you and protect you no matter what. A family provides one with love, affection, appreciation, and teaches you the morals and principles of the society. In a way, family teaches you how to survive in the outside world. There are many needs that a family satisfies. Human beings are social animals, and family keeps individual companionship, a sense of belonging. Family makes us laugh, cry, all sorts of emotions, but a family provides a reason to live and a reason to love. A family is this unit of society that you can turn to anytime. Now, what does God think about family? Does He care about them? The answer is yes, God cares for families. In fact, when God created the heavens and earth, He had families in mind. God is the one who established the rules on earth in order for them to not just survive, but to thrive. Regardless of what family you belong to, you are enjoying God's divine providence. God truly cares for families. He cares for them so much that He wants to be a part of it. He wants to be the head, the center, and the very foundation of every household. A family that is without God is bound to crumble. That is the exact opposite of what God wants. The truth is, He wants to bless them and He will be able to do that if the family submits under His authority. But we don't worry because God leads with love and compassion. It's a given that there is no perfect family. But there are blessed families under God. Because families that are under God will now belong to the family of God. Just like traditional families in the world, in the family of God, we laugh together, we cry together, but we also pray together, serve together, and watch together. In God's family, we have the apostle, the bishops, presbyters, and the pastors as our leaders. We also have each other, whom we call brothers and sisters, because we are now family by the blood of Jesus Christ. Here, there is forgiveness of sins, a stronger force of love, overflowing mercy, and abundance of grace. And in God's family, there is no orphan, because we all belong. Regardless of where you're from, regardless of where you are in your life's journey, 
and regardless of your gender and your race, you are beautiful. And in God's family, you belong.